you heard it right here first that's beautiful well i'll be back you know we'll be back i'm glad that man, you gave that... me this opportunity so uh man thank you and yeah. yeah i would say if you can uh break this down into a few sections and uh yep, definitely you know, will. And, and i'll promote them i'll get them up on the call group and, and around right. on twitter and all that oh stuff, man so. awesome thank you so much yeah well whatever hey, you need just... from us like that was another thing too right like yeah, well, yeah. however way yeah, we support definitely. you or whatever you need on this side even just let us know you guys are doing great but i yeah there probably are some specific things that i could use yep. uh yeah man because of where you're located specifically and i'm sure you guys yeah. speak a, a, a different language so uh yeah do you well, we speak, try. Uh, I, I can't even speak my own language yeah still <laughs> is it, it, it tagal Tagalog, yeah, Tagalog. yeah. Tagalog. 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 it's embarrassing because okay. I, I came from Vancouver and I've been here like 14 years. I still can't speak my own language. Oh <laughs> man, it's pretty embarrassing. Well, it's, it's all English here, so we're we're good, right? So I mean, oh yeah, yeah perfect. Still. Actually, yeah, I know someone. Yeah. I know someone that was a business person in California that uh, met his wife. I believe he met his wife in California, who was a Filipino woman, and yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, he ended up moving uh, to the Philippines and. Uh, he lives there now and he loves yeah, it there of course he, he absolutely it, it's loves crazy it. out here yeah. man yeah yeah it, it, it's black and white it's, it's, it's something like you ah it's, it's hard no no you, no one will believe us unless you actually come out here yeah so it, it's pretty you guys crazy. ever have a chance I, to come out here he told me a yeah. couple of years ago so i'm not exactly sure if i'm getting the figures right but i think what he told yeah. me was he spent fifty thousand dollars to essentially mm. build uh his in-laws like a nice store like they had uh they oh, had yeah. their own like corner awesome. store already but he like completely awesome. modernized it and made it like a 7-eleven with like fifteen thousand yeah. dollars bro That's i'll tell you straight up you awesome. you can actually buy an island over here for fifty thousand dollars you can oh That's there's, there's lots of islands over here yeah. yeah yeah you can buy you can buy an island you can buy like um you know beachfront property just yeah, build he, drip uh, island i don't know like a couple of acres or something and uh yeah you can do that yeah 50, he, 000, 100 thousand. i know he lives yeah. on the beach he lives uh in, in a beach house that looks like something that would be like oh you would pay thousands of dollars a night to to get that place and oh he's, yeah it's just how he's just living there sure. like sure. i think it's probably paid off it's the, it's not expensive you know yeah yeah, yeah. there's definitely oh, benefits I mean, of being here yeah there's definitely a lot of benefits. Like, dude, I mean, back home, well, I don't want to say it's boring, but I mean, North America is North America. I mean, but that, that's yeah. home, right? Uh, but uh, no, coming out here, it's just scene, like, like oh, I've never yeah, been to great. Asia. I've been, I've um, been all over South America. I've been to Mexico well, and Argentina yeah. and Chile and Ecuador, and, uh, but well, never like Asia. But I want sure. to go to Asia bad. Sure. I, I do I mean, we'll, uh, operate yep. part of a business out of Singapore, but, okay. I, okay. but I haven't been to Asia. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're, we're actually working with the uh, economic zones here in the Philippines. So we, we helped um, write the first law, um, ultimately in the world, if you really think about it, for an economic zone, uh, including blockchain and fintech. So that's what we're doing on, on this side. Mm. And so the opportunity wow. wise, it's, it's just huge. So we have uh, Japan, Korea, uh, Singapore, a lot of business there, uh, Indonesia. So the South uh, Asia Pacific, Asia Pacific uh, area, like this is like the hub now. Right. Yeah. So there's a lot of action going on, um, especially in the uh, uh, crypto space. The governments are a little more uh, lenient and open. And so we're, what we're doing, uh, my, my company is we're helping kind of uh, bridge the gap and, uh, you know, uh, for adoption and also, you know, um, getting the uh, governments to kind of uh, uh, be a little more understanding. <laughs> play ball. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh you know, if they have incentive, if they have a financial incentive, then then they'll get behind it. That's you know, I think that's the main reason why I'm not too fearful about heavy regulation coming down on Bitcoin or you right. know, nah. specifically Bitcoin, but some of the other cryptos. Mainly Bitcoin yeah. because you know, I see it as a way that the US, if they don't heavily regulate it, to, can uh essentially uh export the dollar through Mm. uh you know second layer and, and side chain right. companies that are allowing for you know instant settlement so it can be used for retail and all of these things and you know both uh, you know these companies will most likely have whatever stable coin they're using for mm. uh 
instant settlement on a side mm. chain uh, collateralized mm. in USD in the US. Yeah. So right. it's essentially right. a way to bring banking to the unbanked uh, right. using US as collateral, which is essentially exporting the US dollar to a bunch of places that currently don't have the US dollar as their re- reserve yeah. currency. And yeah. if you went there and tried to take away their current banking system, which isn't much, and try to force them to adopt the dollar, of course mm. they would they would revolt against it. It's a way to get them to actually accept it as their yeah. reserve currency. Uh, so, I mean, the U.S. government is not always intelligent in their actions, but this seems like an easy play for them, <laughs> you know? So Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so sure. I don't see them well, getting there. heavy regulation. For sure, for sure. Well, definitely, we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch uh, a lot more often. Sorry, I had to just quickly Definitely take a toilet break. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, I know you guys are, it's super late for you guys, right? Or maybe even no, 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 no. Right it's, now, or? it's 1 p.m. 1 in the afternoon. It's 12 hours ahead of you. For us. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's super late thought, for you. Oh, oh, you. Yeah. I thought you were saying that uh, it was like 2 or 3 in the morning or something like uh, a few hours ago. Or was that a long time ago? I'm, you you yeah. messaged me, when you messaged me this morning, it was 2 a.m. Oh, all right. So I read yeah, that... When, uh, I read that yeah. message uh, tonight. That's why it confused me. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Of <laughs> course, okay. you guys are, are twelve hours ahead. But uh, yeah. uh, all right, guys.